to in there. Okay, I'm gonna show case this thing really neat. Bye. This is my um, little bit of dirt, just a tiny bit, and then there's some cracky water underneath. And I put these sweet Basically, what in. she means is there's there's water underneath, and part of the wet, wet part of the roots are constantly submerged in the water, and part of the roots are just in the dirt. Right. So I put these sweet potatoes in there to quickly root them. <laughs> well, it looks like I waited a little too long. Are they overrooted? Is that what that is right there? <laughs> yeah. Those roots so, coming out, oh gosh. Not only is it overrooted, normally I pull plants out this way, like, you know, I pull out this one other one, but this one I'm going to have to pull out this the way. other <laughs> direction. That's a lot of roots. Slide the leaves through, hopefully. Yeah, sweet potato leaves will be fine. Oh, and I just realized how small that hole is. Oh barely made it out. Okay, Jeez. so I'm going to go ahead and take that That's one out. A lot of roots. And I'm going to go ahead and take this one out too, because it just... So many roots. Oh, there. look, that one is still alive. Does it have any roots attached to it? No. Oh. Well, the rest of these, some of these took scap actually fully rooted. Okay, this well, let's one take roots. out all these sweet potatoes and just have fun doing this. Oh, look, this one's so ingrained that it just, when I lifted it up, apparently just stayed underneath. Stayed underneath. Should clean out that layer of dirt. And actually, this one is a great one to plant in our yard, instead of cleaning it up for the rest of folks, because that dirt will help it wherever I put it. Mm -hmm. Okay, over here. Oops, looks like the dirt came out. Oh well. Okay, any more? It looks like another batch of something. That must be a sweet potato. Because what else would root that one? And so I think actually having the sweet potato here, I've noticed that when I put my sweet potatoes with my plants in here, with the turf scap, that actually helps it, it root better. It actually helps it root much better. Oh, that's better. really nice. That turf scap roots right yeah, there. Yeah, it's doing very well. So I'm very excited about that. Maybe I can give that to some of the people who need it. Some people bought it, and I'm really sorry for the people who bought it, and it took me a long time to get it to them. If you buy plants from me, please give me a two-month thing and also remind me with emails i'm a very slow i guess person. bug you to send you them for their plants yes yeah you're gonna have to do that if you want to buy plants for me okay anyways that was just a little bit of neat fun we're gonna go take these sweet potatoes and uh oh, you know what this one i must have put in recently because it's still uh, um, it's more than enough fruit to plant well you know what i these okay. things help we'll go, it go ahead so go i'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there and i'm gonna put it on the edge of this time <laughs> so that it's uh Easier to remove a bit later, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's cool. All right. Oh, Lots of sweet potatoes. Yum. And oh, if you never need a rooting hormone, use your sweet potato to help root it. Cool. Mm. Thank you. Look at those roots. So much fun. Yeah, look at these roots. They're just amazing. They do so well.